I was afraid if I asked him and presented my scenario, I was afraid he was going to say, you're out of luck, kid. Feel bad for you. Too bad. It's eternity in hell for you. Want to go get a shake? <laughs> Please hear this. God is not out to get you. Amen. There's just, there's no way you can understand the truth of the Bible and come to the conclusion, well, God's out to get everybody. He's not out to get us. My dearly beloved friends, God is for you. He's not against you. Think about this. God went to great lengths to make it possible for us to come to salvation and be with him in eternity. He paid a huge, huge, the Lord Jesus, coming up to Easter, he suffered and died on a cross to make it possible for us to connect. What Jesus did, did in the book of Philippians, it talks about the fact that Jesus set aside his divine privileges for a time to, in order to become a man and come down here. Why would anybody do such a thing? Because he loves you that much. That's the truth. The Bible says he did it because he loved it. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That's what the Bible says. So we could be saved so that we could have an eternal life. So, yes, there is an unpardonable sin. I wish there wasn't, but there is. We can sin against the Holy Spirit in such a way that it cannot be forgiven, but God has not made that a likely scenario, and that is not God's will for you. That is not God's will for your life. This is what the Bible, this is not my idea, this is what the Bible says. The Bible says it's not God's will that anyone should perish. Aren't you glad? Amen. Yeah. See, we, when, I see, when, when we know God doesn't want to get us to perish, we ought to be doing cartwheels. There's way too few cartwheels in this church, I'm telling you. <laughs> so, somebody met, after, after a, a 9 o'clock service, somebody mentioned Blues Brothers to me. Remember that movie? Yeah. <laughs> some, good car, some good cartwheels in that one. Kevin, come on, would you, please? <laughs> he'll, he'll do it later. I'll get it on camera later. So, hey, guess what? Rejoice. Rejoice. Be assured. You are secure in the arms of Jesus. He loves you. He lo I don't have words that can fully express how much he loves you. It's beyond any words. I'll say it again. God is not against you. God is for you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yes? yes. Would you stand, please? Amen. Yes. Amen.